so we are going to look at the last part of the question mm, come here yeah here is our question down they said assuming it costs a hundred dollars for the developer then two hundred dollars for the trainer three hundred dollars for the programmer per hour Determine the project cost and the total cost for the entire project. So they want us to determine the project cost and then the total cost for the entire project. So we go back to our work. Yeah. In order for us to determine the project cost, we are going to use resource names. Yeah, we are going to use resource names and then and then we shall create another column for resource initials. Sorry, for project costs. So we come here. You come here where, where there, there is resource names and then you tap on it. Double tap. Double click. Yeah. So the, the ID that we are going to use or the field name, we are going to use resource initials the first letters of the names yes yeah, so in case it's not that you, you you just type in r let me see w you just type in r and then they bring for you options for r you search down resource initials it's there then the title resource names you put it there then you press ok after that, you tap on resource names, then, then you come here where there is view. View so that we can be able to put in the names. View, then you go to resource sheet. This one. Yeah, it has to be blank. I had already used code, it is the reason why these blue figures are there but it has to be blank like plain then the the resource name you put we have the first one we have the trainer is it the trainer let's check the question again we have the developer the first one is the developer the developer Then the second one, so that the, the initial for the developer is D. They consider the first letter, it is D. Then the second one, we have the trainer. And the initial for the trainer is T. Then the last one, we have the program. Program. And the initial for the programmer is P. Yeah, then we come here where there is cost. For the first one, it was $100. The second one, $200. Then the third one, $300. Like that. Yeah, so we are done there. So you come here and then save it here save and then we go back to our Gantt chart here so we have to put a new column for for it a new column for project costs so you 